Hello and welcome to Diary of a Common Man. My name is Salim Lalani. This week uh, we will talk about whether I did or not. Uh, but before that, uh, we have a couple of things to talk about. People's expectations of me. So, as you know that a lot of people around the world, they continue to support me. And so much so that they keep sending me information. And that is good. And I take my hat off to you. That how do you find time to, to, to find this information and send it to me? Um, it's amazing. So I would, I would like to thank you. Thank you for thinking about me. But there is a negative side to it. Don't send information that cannot be used. Um, I know it's difficult to assess, but keep it, keep it low in numbers. And I'll tell you why. You must understand that you have feelings for me. You have emotions for me. I know that. But you must remember that I'm a only single one, I'm, one man army. And I work full time. How am I going to read so much material? You tell me. If I had a staff, I have a, one person working for me who I pay every month. But if I had a team to read all the material, it would be different. But I don't. So please be mindful of that. I'm not saying, I'm not discouraging you from sending it to me. But in case I don't read it, and if I don't take any action on it, please don't be upset with me. Okay, that's all I'm trying to say. So once again, thank you. Uh, and thank you to those people who have uh, recently made some donations. I really, really appreciate uh, your donation will go a long way. Then we have, uh, I was just, uh, I, usually I never do this, but the other day I um, visited um, Reddit. It's one of the social media sites. And on that side, people are talking about me. And uh, people are basically arguing for and against me, which is fine, which is perfectly fine. In fact, that is a good thing. That's very healthy. So what I'm saying is that instead of arguing amongst each other, like there was an example, why doesn't Salim do this? And why doesn't Salim do that? He did this and he did that. And then the other person will, will try to defend me. So my question to you is, and this is common sense, that if you are arguing so much, why doesn't Salim do something? Ask him. Salim has allowed you, he has provided a platform for you to stand up and question. Question Salim and put him to task. Question him. He is available for scrutiny. Unlike Aga Khan, unlike his leaders, and unlike his Jamaat, I'm here. And I will take any questions that you have. And guess what? I promise you this. And I have promised this before. That if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. Anyway, so don't argue amongst each other. If you have questions about me, talk to me. But I think you know and I know why they wouldn't come here. Anyway, let's start with the topic of the week. Can I be trusted? It's entirely up to an individual whether to trust anyone. I don't have any control over it. 
but uh, a couple of people in fact there were four comments last week on youtube because youtube is the only uh, platform i i i go and i read uh, comments sometimes and i found four comments out of 38 that said to me uh, that i'm a horrible man i cannot be trusted um i have shot myself in the foot i'm dishonest i'm i'm revengeful and i lack integrity these are the uh, comments i've received last week so why did people become so upset here is why last week i exposed an ismaili murid called dr prem ji canada and these people who are basically attacking me and uh, trying to uh, assassinate my character they can't sorry you you cannot assassinate my character i am not defined by your thoughts i am defined by my deeds and my conscience anyway so they they became very upset that i exposed a supporter the supporter deserved privacy for many reasons and whether i had promised any privacy to him or not these people don't even know that but they are assuming that because he was a supporter i should have protected his privacy but i decided to expose him now this this reaction from these people is partly caused by my mistake the choice of my word for word supporter for dr prem ji has caused all the problem i described dr prem ji as a supporter he was never a supporter so why did i choose the word supporter for dr prem ji that is a question and it's a very valid question and i'll tell you why over the last two years anybody that calls me and even sympathizes with me for 5 minutes or supports me financially or helps me in any way or just talks to me goes away i call everybody a supporter but i shouldn't because i have found <laughs> i have learned the hard way that if you cho- if you choose the wrong word for somebody it can send out a very different message very different message and people can be very upset and they will make different stories they will take the opportunity to troll you but that is okay i have made that mistake and i i say to you now that i shouldn't have used the word look uh, the with the, the um, supporter and this is why i would not use the word supporter for dr prem ji now if he was not a supporter who was he we will talk about that in a minute as well imagine this situation that you are running a campaign against aga khan and you have sacrificed everything towards the cause and one of the listeners contacts you and expresses their sympathy towards the cause and then enters into a relationship with you for more than a year you get an impression that this person is so helpful and he talks to me he gives so much of his time 
to talk to me. And that is all Dr. Premji did. He, he spoke to me. But during those conversations, he did not give away anything. Not even information that I require from the Jamaat Khana. Information that I could use. Yes, he might have given his observations. But he did not reveal anything else. So anyway, you, you develop a trust with him and you tell him everything. Now, Dr. Premji, and I'm a sort of a guy, you might have noticed that I will tell you everything. You call me, I will tell you everything. Sensitive information, I will give it to you. Without knowing you, you might call me stupid. Maybe I am. But that is my nature. I am an open book. I have nothing to hide. People advise me not to be so open. But at this age, I don't want to change myself. I want to remain open, transparent, even if it harms me. That's the way I am. Okay. So I, Dr. Premji knew all my moves, everything, everything that was going through my mind, Dr. Premji knew. So the point I'm making here is that the transfer of information was one-sided. Okay. He received everything from me. What did he do with that information? I don't know. And I'm not going to accuse him of anything that I don't know. But the fact of the matter is that the exchange of communication, exchange of information was one-sided. He received everything, never gave anything. Okay, anyway, let's move forward. Did he? Okay, so he did not give any information. So from information point of view, he did not support me. So did he support me with any completing any tasks? During that more than a year, I gave him different tasks to complete. Did he complete even one? No. And I was okay with that. I said, fine, he's maybe, although he's retired, uh, but he did not complete even one task. Okay. So, from the task point of view, was he a supporter? No. From the information point of view, was he a supporter? No. Now, let's come to financial side. I have been screaming for donation ever since. Was he a donor? No. Not one dollar. And this is a doctor. He has worked all his life as a doctor. And guess what? I have donors who are taxi drivers. I have donors who are pensioners. A doctor. A so-called supporter. Did he donate one dollar? And then came the ultimate. Then came the opportunity, once in a lifetime opportunity to support. The lawyer in Canada 
said to me that if you want the tax office to take action, the Canadian citizens must sign an affidavit. That way, they will be forced to investigate. And the more, the better. And good news is that we have found people to do that. But Dr. Premji, no. This affidavit was 100% secure, safe, legally protected. By signing this, he could have demonstrated his support for the cause. What is the cause? We are helping hundreds of thousands of poor people around the world. Agakani Murids. We are helping hundreds of millions, actually millions of people, taxpayers of Canada, whom Aga Khan is looting. Does it become, if not supporting me, forget Salim Lalani and the cause, <clears throat> forget supporting Salim Lalani. Is this not as an educated person? Is this not your duty? an ethical and a moral duty, if not a legal duty, to report to the government. <clears throat> if an educated person is not going to do that, if a person who is coming across as a supporter of my campaign, if he's not going to do it, who's going to do it? By not signing that letter, <clears throat> he proactively supported the Mafia. Pretending to be my supporter, he proactively supported the Mafia. Why? Because of the fear of persecution. But even that doesn't make sense. If he had any fear of persecution, why did he criticize Aga Khan's institutions in his book called Malaria Diary? That led me to my decision that such a highly hypocritical person is a root cause of the abuse of the poor around the world. That is the reason this hypocrisy, extremely high level of hypocrisy, I wanted to demonstrate it to the public this is how low Ismailis can go. To protect the Mafia. For this purpose, and, and my use of the word supporter, created the wrong picture. Now, one thing we have clarified, one thing we know for sure, that he was anything but a supporter. So what was he? What was he, if, if not a supporter? There are two or three possibilities, but I'm not sure what he was. He could be a sympathizer. He could be a spy from the Jamaat Khana. Or he's just a gossip monger. You, you like to receive information and talk. That's fine. He could be either of those three. And I'm not willing to uh, basically accuse him of being any one of those because I don't know. What I do know is that he was not a supporter. Now, you decide 
whether I did the wrong thing or I did the right thing. Irrespective of what you think, I stand by my decision to expose Dr. Premji. This move of mine, what I have done is I have basically exposed him in the Jamaat Khana. What is possibly going to happen now is that his own people are going to persecute him. Maybe that will make him realize the pain and the suffering of those poor people around the world. At this point in time, he is completely blinded by his own selfishness. By doing this, he will maybe realize the pain. I don't think anybody will uh, uh, persecute him in the Jamaat Khana, but in case they do, it will make him realize. Okay. Now, one thing I would like to mention about my critics is that Dr. Premji is the first one I have exposed. During the last two years, I've had so many people come and go. Did I expose them? There are so many people working for me right now in the Jamaat Khana. Have I exposed them? It is my responsibility to protect their identity. I will do everything, even risk myself to protect their identity. I will do that. And you can take my word for it. I will not reveal anybody's identity. Dr. Premji is a different kettle of fish. Anyway, now let's come to these people who criticize me. And I don't mind. You can criticize me. That is, that is your right to criticize me. Okay. You have basically the, the, the one comment that I, I paid attention to was I lacked integrity. Guess what? The person <laughs> who accused me of not having any integrity, they're talking about my integrity under a fictitious name. I'll leave it at that. Now, that is basically what uh, the story of Dr. Premji is. Before I take any questions, uh, I would like to request some donations. As I have said that we are now moving towards the legal system and this is going to require finances. Please, if you are my supporter, I get so many uh, messages of appreciation, prayers, but they don't pay the bill. They don't pay the bill. They don't run the campaign. What they do, and, and they are very important, what you are doing is very important, is you are keeping the fire burning in my heart, in my chest. Okay, but it does not pay the bills. So please visit my website, www.calltowakeup.org.au. I will greatly appreciate it. And history will appreciate it as well. So if we have any questions, Zahid, please put them on for me. Hello, Zahid. Are you still awake? I know this is Ramzan. <laughs> so, oh, he's here. 
I admire your, your bravery to come to public and speak the truth. The cowards who are passing negative comments don't have the guts to show the identity and join your video. Yes, I I agree. I agree. I agree with, I don't know about my bravery, but I do agree with you that these people don't have the guts. They, all they do is to attack you. The first opportunity they get, attack. Okay, next. Salim, even if Premji expressed his support to you, wasn't it wrong to name and shame because he wouldn't follow your request to submit it? And regardless of how you... Okay, your question is incomplete. Uh, how you feel? Isn't it completely obvious that your decision to expose his name, his pictures, etc. will stop others from coming forward? No, not at all. My decision to expose his name is based on my integrity. It, it is based on the behavior of this person, which is um, to basically extract information from me and not help. This is hypocrisy. And I am against hypocrisy. I will expose anybody who is a hypocrite. Okay. Whether they support me or not, that is not my issue. Okay. My supporters are my supporters. They have always been there for me. They will always be there for me. People who are affected by Dr. Premji Saga, if they don't want to support me, that is perfectly fine. I started this campaign on my own, no support. And I'm still here. I only look at the divine. I don't look at anybody else. Yeah. So I'm not a businessman. I'm not a strategist. That if I do this or a politician, if I do this, that will happen. I do what my conscience, conscience tells me to do. And I will continue to do that until I die. Yeah. All right. Next. Dukhi <laughs> Mukhi. Six feed everyone at Gurudwara. Muslims feed everyone at mosque. Why Aga Khan sells, sells and pockets money of the food instead of feeding poor? Yes. That is a very valid question. And I hope somebody comes out and talks about it. I've spoken about it so many times. That these people like Dr. Premji, they are supporting this system, which is allowing Aga Khan to become ultra rich at the expense of the poor. Yeah, good point. Next. You say Dr. Premji knew all your moves. Did he know that you might at any time reveal his name? No, I don't think so. He thought I was an idiot. Next. Salim, you seem to forget that each individual has to make their own judgment as to what part of the campaign they can support uh, because only they know their circumstances. Uh, um, uh, and when you said you are going to keep the affidavit confidential, you are wrong. What is the guy working in that office in Aga Khani? Any guess to know? Do you even know, Mr. Mehta, what is an affidavit? Before you make a comment, go and learn what an affidavit is. Okay. And then make a comment. All right. Next. Isn't it true that you have always maintained? that good people who contact you will remain anonymous. If Dr. Premji didn't want you to submit legal forms, I don't see anything wrong with that. You, you uh, Maybe you're not listening to what I said. So if you don't want to listen, then why do you make comments? Do we have unlimited time to argue? What I just said, go and listen to it first. I, I have answered this question. Very, very simply. So please do it. This is not the time to argue. Okay. I have said, I'll say once again. Let, go back to the previous question, uh, Zahid. 
he didn't want to submit a legal form i don't see anything wrong with that it is your ethical moral duty to do it if you don't do it you're supporting a mafia and you're doing it in a 100% secure manner i even offered him to go to a lawyer and seek advice how to is there any risk to his name he didn't even go to the lawyer i said to him that look this affidavit will go to cra why am i lawyer no there is no way the lawyer will reveal the identity of the person on the affidavit when he has said that my name should never be released and by the way do you know you call cra and ask for a, a taxpayer's details the names and things like that will they give it to you will they give it to you they never give out names to anyone affidavit is 100% secure and you don't see anything wrong with not supporting the system when you have spoken to salim lalani and got all this information for one year and by not signing the affidavit you are actually supporting the mafia you have decided that you will support the mafia and that is why i wanted to feed him to the mafia i will feed him to the mafia if he is going to support the mafia and i will do it again anybody that tries to betray the public like dr premji did i will expose them as well and if people have that intention to fool around with me they will get this so if you want to help me come to me with a genuine desire to help the poor genuine desire to help the taxpayers of the country genuine desire to do the right thing but i don't think you understand these things what is right and what is wrong so look we don't have time to argue about this okay if you have an opinion keep it to yourself and and we've allowed you to express yourself you are more than uh, welcome to do that okay next it smiley website says 75% target achieve for jamaati funds don't you think it's a trick to fool khojas uh, if they show the true 15% but then how do you know it is 15% so if you come up with something then i can maybe agree with you yeah okay next if your name is on illegal it becomes public knowledge even if you make donation okay i am the truth i am not going to argue with you so you need to learn what an affidavit is first i already told you that it is under the condition of anonymity affidavit is not a public document it cannot be given to anybody and everybody it is with the lawyer and it is with the cra now if you want to keep arguing like this i will have to block you okay uh, no go back to the previous uh, comment if you're going to continue like this i am the truth okay actually i'll take you to task you are the truth correct prove it to me that an affidavit given to a lawyer and to cra can be given to any member of the public in canada prove it to me before that you will not make one comment we don't have unlimited time yeah so one more comment on this and we will block you 
the fact that i allow you to speak on this platform does not mean you can abuse it yeah okay next next if you suddenly seems a hypocrite to you what do you do uh mr mehta uh you need to uh, listen to my uh, my my what i spoke about today uh, i have already answered this question please do not ask questions which i have already answered if you again like a previous uh, thing if you don't understand then please don't make comments yeah thank you yeah all right ignore messages who are complaining about spilling out the name name of someone or someone for that matter ismail is are trying to divert your attention for exposing their imam no no uh, yeah you are right they are trying to divert my attention but they they will get nowhere it doesn't it doesn't affect me in any way i am just providing a a platform for everybody to express themselves they have expressed themselves and that is fine nothing wrong with that but they can't continue on and on arguing about it yeah and if they have some substance bring it to this platform so for, say for example uh, this uh, i am the truth is saying that uh, affidavit is a public document now obviously this person do- doesn't know what an affidavit is okay no need to apologize people you are complain- complaining trying to scar the smiles from coming uh, yeah exactly okay next even if someone's identity is exposed what difference would it make what is your imam going to do i mean i have handed it to you yeah good point next could you provide some insight on the case against aga khan which case against aga khan okay next would aga khan get mahadan charter now that he is on <laughs> yeah mukhi sahib should go mukhi sahib dukhi mukhi should go uh, to to aga khan and uh, give him mahadan charter may allah forgive you of all your sins okay next that's it all right so many uh, we have all good somebody here will add them to stream now assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam uh, i have a one question uh, yeah. uh, what what do you think when uh, first time uh, aga khan realized his sect is a nothing but a cult for money in mm. what age he rea- realized this sorry i don't understand the question uh, my my question is uh, when did uh, aga khan realize his sect is a, a money making cult in what age he realized that when did he realize it that yeah, he, yeah. his system was a cult yeah 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 or oh, how would i know when did he realize that uh, i think he he must have realized in early age not is you know maybe he was in 16 or 17 year old he must have realized his uh, sect is a nothing but money making cult what do you very think possible. very possible that he realized at an early age yeah 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 uh, i don't know i don't know you asking me as to when did he realize how do i know when did he realize no because you know whenever he got to know about his uh, sect uh, and the system whole system then he must realize this is a money making oh, he system knows. he knows very well i mean how can anybody not know if you are running the whole system yourself and you are benefiting from the poor people you know yeah you know yeah, you are running a cult yeah but, but one time he must have believe it is a true sect all those thing you know we are the prophet ancestor all those thing but uh, one time he must have come to conclusion no th- this is just uh, all about making money that's all we are yeah yeah 
all right so thank you thank you for thank you sir thank you sir thank you i appreciate it. okay all the best all the best so guys uh, thank you so much for uh, attending in really large numbers i really appreciate and those people who don't know what an affidavit is and the condition of anonymity please learn before you make comments yeah so thank you so much i appreciate and uh, i look forward to uh, talking to you next week same place same time be nice to each other bye bye